did we get here? The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority undertook its steepest upward review in fuel prices, spelling tough times for consumers and businesses. So for every 120 shillings Kenyans pay for a litre of fuel, 49 shillings goes to taxes and levies. This lends perspective to the burden inflicted on citizens by laws passed by the National Assembly to mobilize revenue for the government. NTV's Julian Samboko delves deep into the pricing methodology of pump products. Kenya's petroleum sector has been under a controlled pricing regime ever since the energy petroleum pricing regulations came into force in 2010. The regulations were put in place as a result of what the government termed as market failure in price determination. The reason why we came in to regulate prices is because there was market failure. At that time, I remember, there's a time the barrel went to $147 per barrel, then it dropped to 45 And what the market did was only to reduce the price by 10 shillings. And that is a market failure because you are supposed to respond in a symmetrical way to the movements in uh, prices where you are sourcing your products. So as long as the aspect of market failure can be removed or we are convinced that the market now is working in a perfect mode, then we will be able to come in and tell our stakeholders that yes, we think we can uh, deregulate the market. The market regulator argues that the regulated pricing regime has worked ever since inception in 2010. However, there are factors which present a challenge in the end user, the ordinary consumer, enjoying the full benefits. One of the issues is the burden of taxes and levies. In terms of uh, price methodologies, that is uh, one of the other key factors that might uh, affect uh, the prices that you uh, observe in Kenya and Tanzania. One, of course, you have mentioned the issue of taxes, whereby our taxes have uh, some disparity, and that is, uh, depends from regime, from country to country. Uh, in terms of the pricing methodology, for example, you find Tanzania uses a month, the prices for month minus two. When they are doing their computation for maybe a monthly price X, they use that month X minus two. So, uh, and Kenya uses X minus one. So you find like in terms of uh, when prices are going up, the prices in Tanzania will lag more before they increase, unlike in Kenya, because our system, the way we have looked at it, it's more cost reflective. Because taxes cannot be changed arbitrarily, they have to go through um, a process of review, they are actually law, perhaps it would be a good time as any for conversations to now um, take place regarding the formulation of a tax policy in Kenya. Why? Because then that will enable the government to lay out in the policy innovative strategies that will ensure that all companies and individuals pay their taxes so that then the easier sectors like petroleum uh, are not overly taxed. <laughs> In the latest increase in pump prices, which is a significant one, the market regulator hiked supplier margins by a considerable amount after three consecutive months of squeezing the same. For the next 30 days, Kenyans will now bear the brunt of record high pump prices, which have pushed up the cost of living. Julian's Amboko, NTV.